nothing to do with this. Donna. Silence! This chamber need not hear from you. Solomon! Wait! Don't you want to know how we got here? You will find out in time. You'll never know if you kill us. I've got information. We don't need your information! We've got your entry vehicle! Butika Vasika! It's only a matter of time before we learn who sent you. Authenticate! All right, now! Get down! <laughs> There's an opening. Come on, let's go! Kill and Kuna! My ears are still ringing! This is mental! Did you see that? Just keep moving! They'll be coming for us in here! We need to find somewhere else to hide! That thing that exploded... That was yours! How'd you know they'd bring that up out of the ground? What? I didn't! I'm just winging it like you! Are you serious? I thought that was part of some grand plan! So we actually almost died back there! We got lucky! Look, we're not out the woods yet! They've sounded some sort of alarm! The whole city will be on alert. This cannot be happening. What are we going to do? Just run. Shit. Run! Keep going. Don't stop. What are we going to do? that in my old body. Oh, I think the table broke my fall. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I landed directly on the concrete. What the hell are you doing in my pub? Samantha? Who are you? Minutes, Black Ops! Behind here. Go! Zinni Danu. Flag. Primni knock. You can come up now. You're Samantha. Haven't heard that name in a long time. So let me get this straight. Peter Hale sent you. That's right. Little P. Oh, that's a blast from the past. And weird. I'm surprised he still remembers me. I'm, what's it been, 40 years? You mean you're not childhood sweethearts? <laughs> what? No, I mean, Pete was okay, but no. He didn't think that, did he? He did pour his entire fortune into find you. Shut up. Is he rich? What am I going to do when I get back? 
don't worry about that right now. Let's just get back first, yeah? I feel like I should be crying. I should be, shouldn't I? People deal with grief in different ways. Don't worry what anyone else thinks. Listen, I don't know what to say to you. I'm sorry you came all this way, but I don't want to go back. I didn't want saving. My life's here. Maybe 20 years ago I would have been jumping for joy, but not now. Too much has changed. I've got a husband, kids, this place. You understand, right? I'm beginning to. I'm sorry that Pete is stuck in the past, but Jesus, it was 40 years ago. Let it go, mate. Life moves on. Some people don't want to let go. Well, I feel sorry for them. How can you feel happy with your lot if you're always looking back? It's not healthy. Right. <laughs> Look at me, the philosopher. No, you are right, though. I think I've been guilty of that. I wanted this job more than anything. I thought that it would change things. <sighs> what a mess. People have been hurt. Killed, even. Shit. Amy. Dan must hate me for what I've done to him. And for what he doesn't know about. Jesus. What's wrong with me? Okay. Armchair philosopher, maybe, but definitely not a therapist. Sorry. I'm just having a mini meltdown here. Been there. Take it from me. It's never too late to pull it back. Anyway, what shall I tell Hale? If I get back, that is. Not that I give much of a shit anymore. <laughs> tell Pete that... I don't know. Tell him it's very sweet of him to do all this. Actually, don't say that. Sounds too condescending. I could just tell him that you're married with kids, but from time to time you still think about him. Something like that? That works. I'll tell you what. If I survive this operation, I'll come round and make sure you're okay. Alright? So you're definitely going to swap back into your old body? I can't just let Jack die. I think you're really brave. Yeah. I am, aren't I? <laughs> okay, it's getting on. I can't keep the bar shut for much longer without starting a riot. Plus, happy hour is starting soon, so this place is going to get hectic. We get it. You've done more than enough. Thank you. Okay. Well, listen. The only way you're going to get out of here is through the portal chamber. What's that? The entrance is this big, ostentatious opening that looks like a flower. I mean, you really can't miss it. I know it. That's the way I came in. But guys, it's no cakewalk, all right? It's heavily guarded, probably even more so after what you did earlier. I'm not sure how you expect to get past them unnoticed. We'll think of something. Well, good luck. Okay, we got two armed guards. What are you thinking? Take them out? It's too risky. That's got to be a last resort. Someone needs to create a diversion. I can do this. John! Hey! Fellas! What's he playing at? Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Oh. What the hell am I doing?
doing? Come on, let's go. Are we just going to walk here in silence then? What do you want to talk about? Seriously, this is a normal day for you, is it? It doesn't matter. It's done now. Donna's right, and it's probably a good idea none of us speak of this again. But people have to know, don't they? What's down here? I don't ever want to think about that place again. John, listen. There are people who will make you shut up, all right? Take it from me. Fine. It's not as if anyone would believe us anyway. I don't know what you're complaining about. You got what you came for, didn't you? Have you decided what you're going to do? Down. Get out of my house. I've come to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. For what you've done. You killed them all! Get out! But I can bring them back, Donna. I just need something from you. A promise. A contract. When you eventually meet your end, five, ten, fifty years time from now, you'll join me here. You get to live the rest of your pathetic life with those who you call family and friends. But after that, you're mine. Forever. If you can do that, then I'll agree to whatever you want. Just bring them back. Good. I'll be waiting for you. What 
What a complete mess. You've really embarrassed me here. I vouched for you, remember? I gave you your shot and this is what you do. As I said, she didn't want to come back. You expect me to believe that? I've had enough. We're done here. I'm putting you in a different department. It doesn't seem like I can trust you with anything important. <laughs> Don't bother. I quit. I only came so I could have the satisfaction of saying it to your face. <laughs> now that is funny. Surely you of all people should know I can't allow that. What are you going to do? Have me whacked? Just try it. Maybe you should look at these. I imagine they would make for good reading material for the people down at Scotland Yard. You set me up. It's just business, Hughes. Now do as you're told. There's a good girl. Thank you.